Hello everyone and welcome to Tech Made Easy YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see how we can integrate Calendly on our Elementor based WordPress website. That is your WordPress website is basically using Elementor page builder. Now actually we have another video on Calendly plus Elementor integration on the same channel. So why I am recording this new video? Uh, because Calendly has changed their uh, you know interface and some of the people were finding it difficult to find out where is the add to website button. So that's why I'm recording this a very short video. So what you need to do, you need to go to your Calendly account. You will find there are multiple such events listed here. If not, then you can create a new event type here and you will be able to see such kind of an event. Now what you need to do, click share button and then click to add to website. Now there are three types of embeds basically you can do on your website. First is embed inline. We are going to see all three. So first embed inline, click continue and then you can change the button color, the text color, the background color if you want to. Otherwise just, you know, select this and copy it. Now come to your website. Let's say I want to add it here. So I will add one section here. And inside this section, I will add HTML widget. So I'll get the HTML widget here and just paste the code that we had copied from Calendly. Update it and if you can see the page, we will find that Calendly is embedded on our website. The next part is, you know, let's go back here and select widget pop-up and then click continue. Again, copy this code and go back to your website. You know, here I will just replace this code. I will delete the whole HTML code previously added and then add a new one here. Now I'll update it. And if you will see the website now, you will find that there is a floating scheduling button here. Now, once you click this, you will get your calendar scheduler open in a pop-up. Now, if you want to change the schedule time with me, what you can do is just go back to Calendly and change the button text here. So you can say like book a strategy call and then again, just copy this code, maybe change the button color here. Maybe let's make it on greenish side just to check it. Yeah. And then, you know, select the code, copy the code and remove the old code, add the new code, update it. Here you will find a new, you know, new colorful button appearing here. So that's it. The functionality is same basically. The third part is again, go back to Calendly and select text pop-up, click continue. And then again, you can change the link text here. So again, let's say book a strategy call and then just copy the code, go to Elementor again and remove the old HTML code, add the new one and update it and now if you'll see our website here is a text book strategy call so if you'll click here a pop-up will open now if you want to convert this to a button what you can do is you know add a class or an id to this a anchor tag now if you don't want to go into tech much then you know you can skip this portion if you are okay with handling some css then you can go ahead with this technical part so let me add ID, let me call it schedule and what I will do below this code, I will add a style tag. Now you can find this code in the our uh, video's description and you just can copy and paste it. So what I will do here, has schedule and then let's say background color set it to black and the text color to let's say white now these are the hex codes actually you can type actually white also if you want to i am accustomed to hex codes and if you want to get some hex codes what you can do is just you know search html hex colors in google and you will you know you will find multiple uh, basically tools where you can get html hex color codes you can just change it here and let's see if you want this color just get it copy it and you know let's add it to the background color yeah you can see the color has changed then let's add a padding of 10 pixels 
and let's add a border radius of 10 pixels and update it now you get a nice shiny button here then so this is how you know you can style your button basically so these are the three ways using which you can add calendly on your elementor based website now if you like the video please subscribe to the channel and we will have such more videos coming your way have a nice day thank you